Hi, and welcome to this video, the tutorial number two, where I'm explaining the GCI CAP air to air defense system. So, in the previous video, we built this system where I had defined some, some air bases for the Red Coalition, an EWR network for the Red Coalition, and some airplane templates that I placed above the air bases. And then developed a script, right? This is the script. And I have some blue planes flying into the engagement zone as an attack and see the GCI spawning from Pahuta. Great. Now, in this uh, little video, I'm going to define and extend upon this and I'm going to create a border. Border is basically, you have a cold war and a hot war situation. And this would be a hot war situation. So, wherever my plane would be, if the EWR network would detect it, this plane, immediately a GCI cap would be spawned from one of these airbases. So let me show this to you. I'm going to add a few planes here and just, you know, I don't know how far the EWR can detect them. But uh, let me go here very quickly and add a few and then you see the Right, so when this has been set up, you'll see the blue airplanes is go are going to engage into the red area. And let me show you exactly how this behaves in a hot war situation. You'll also notice now the GCI cap being at work. So you see the border of detection from the EWR, the early warning radar ground units here. And let me speed this up a bit. So there's nothing spawned yet because the EWR is not detecting the blue planes yet. But here is one already crossing the border and here as well. And you will see immediately here some planes spawning. There you go. That's uh, an SU-27. Right? And I have my Vigan here. Right? Cool. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a border zone around the test range here so that when the blue planes arrive in the border zone that um, only then a GCI will be spawned and if they are outside of the border zone then no GCI or intercept will be spawned at all from red. You define the border zone by placing a helicopter above the test range here and just add a few nodes as a route here and it doesn't have to be exactly the same it doesn't you know it's not that important like this right okay make sure the border zone helicopter which defines the zone is late activated otherwise you would see it flying in your mission you don't want that and that of course should be Russia here okay so excuse me this defines my border zone now I need to put the link between the border zone and my script so this name becomes important border red I'll just copy this and now in my script that I had what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a, a new uh, a new API cap double point when I do new you see here new with border from GCI cap so you are gonna double click on this I'm gonna cut paste those so beside the EWR prefix the template prefix I have now also a border prefix and I'm gonna put those in there and I can delete those and just say here between quotes no, excuse me this one border red okay cool so saving and gonna reload my mission here Great. So now you will see a different behavior. 
You will see some blue planes flying towards the red zone. And only those which are crossing the border like here will be GCI'd. That one got detected. I mean, don't forget that these uh, EWR installations are within a, a mountain range, so the view may sometimes be limited. Right, so this one got detected. Perfect. Cool. And now those have crossed the border as well. This one as well. Right, so now I got four intercepts on the way towards the targets. I mean, this may seem like uh, slowly progressing, but just bear in mind that this is accelerated heavily. Jesus, does it work? Come on. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so now those have already all been eliminated and now they're flying back and they're gonna land. So this is the border zone uh, explanation. It's not rocket science, so as a summary, when you use a border zone, use the parameter new with border, please. Okay? And remember there's an extra parameter there, border. Just use the, the name of the border that you have defined as a parameter in brackets. Thank you very much. I'm going to the next video now.